Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 66 of Let's Play Heroes of Steel, the PC version. We did this entire grotto, river, torrent, river's edge thing on one life, I think. We may have we may have only get lost once and uh, re used a restore point. So now, after that crazy war of attrition with the Crete who there may still even be some over here I don't know um let's just say it was nuts um I respect the Crete the lizard man because they are tough cookies especially the different tribes like the Gaian tribe or the Gon tribe Gain tribe I mean wicked tough cookies and we fought just epic hordes of them there may be some Yep, there's fighting here. Oh my, and they surprised us. And they are firing away at high density. High uh, attack. Yeah, there's more of them, guys. We did not clean out the grotto. Now we could... Oh, we're not really ready for this either. We could potentially... Um, uh... buff up if we can not enough SP uh, use one of these I forget what I was gonna say we can um, I don't know sorry guys I lost my train of thought dealing with these Crete that's my best pronunciation. K R E T E. I mean, what else could it be, right? Crete, 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 Crete. So, anyway, <clears throat> we have to deal with them. And uh, deal with them, we will. So, let's get into it and click other spots here where they may be. There we go. There's one. Alright, let's go. Let's get them. Um, there's more over here. Uh, oh, we could probably we could leave because we killed the chieftain, so naturally the rest are going to disperse. But that's not what I want to do. I want to actually kill them. This is the Akik tribe. Um, so, yeah. See how tough they are. They're probably up there with the Gaian tribe. that they use berserkers instead of uh, warriors and I guess they're a little more susceptible but yeah should still be a knockdown drag out fight um, let's get you and um, shock treatment can't do it come here alright let's go Let's get them. 18 XP, 10 gold. After dealing with what we dealt with last combat, last um, episode, if you really want to see just insanity squared, go check that out because... Oh, dang. Because, yeah, um, it was nuts. And, uh... Um, I don't know if sending her ahead is a good idea or not, but we're doing it. These guys seem to be a little less defensive, but I'm not sure for sure. <laughs> uh, let's get them. They're probably like archer types. Um, Berserker. Let's fire at you. Akik tribe seems a little more vulnerable uh not quite as defensive and and um disciplined as the gay tribe and then the regular savages are probably the least trained and least dangerous but these guys are probably 
the second least dangerous. Not to say they're easy by any means, but yeah, probably the le the second least dangerous. And um, just saying, like we can actually attack them. They're not they're not like uh. trained warriors all that well but um they're doing pretty good putting up a fight let's go ahead and action economy you not enough SP let's get an SP for all party members um small one and you go ahead and fire away you still have AP come up here so they oh I was gonna say so they target you back up one um, come down one we should be okay 18 XP 23 gold yeah these ones aren't as skilled in melee combat their ranged game seems pretty solid I mean, they do decent damage. Um, ah. There we go. Um, let's get a heal at least. You come poke this one, I guess. don't block as much but <laughs> all of a sudden they're blocking um, yeah, all of a sudden they're blocking all right um, do we need action economy here yes and yes what about you your action okay your action to satisfaction all right let's go 18 XP, 11 gold. Alright, um... You go ahead and bonk away. She's very accurate with her hammer. Uh, you come down here. Good to go. You poke at this one, which has not been successful, but not too bad. Um, the economy has been actioned. Let's see if we can hit any of them with electricity. Oh, would have been fun to hit those that gang of them. All right, let's go. 18 XP, 11 cold. 127 that's a shocker and hopefully that doesn't happen again and hopefully nobody attacks her but now we've got another berserker up here nice all right critical oh I said she's normally very accurate nice poke at this guy nice you can back up one. Oh, what's Vincent gonna do electrify him oh come on out of SP um, go ahead and use a potion of restore 80 to 160 for the whole party just for SP um, maybe one of these if we even needed to do that really uh, let's go 36 XP 41 gold the last berserker rides here oh there's a chieftain we're gonna have to action him off maybe this way Crete 
chieftain. Never an easy mark. Um, we've got to get her sword play a little more accurate. We've got to get. Um, oh, action him. We've got to get her sword play a little more accurate. And her reckoning hammer a little more accurate. Fiona's 18 XP, one gold. There's only two of them left, and there's two chests here, and one of them a red one. Whoa! And he gets to move. Dang. Okay, well, you can move here. And holy reckoning him. Oh, man. That's what I mean. It's like. Oh, there's a crit for the ages. This must be the last gang of them, I would guess. The last group up here. Um, he's going to get up there and just smack him with his, his uh, staff. Alright, let's go. Let's get rid of this last one. 23 XP, 33 gold. The chest has turned uh, blue for some reason. Huh, three. I don't know why I wasted that precious spot next to him, but oh well. 26. Um. Thirty. Uh, hammer bonk. Bong bong. Eighteen gold. XP. Fourteen gold. Um, last of the Mohicans. Last of the lizard men. Boom. There it was. So we didn't have to clear them out for the quest, but we did anyway. Let's check our spoils over here from the Akik tribe. High walker boots, 3 range da accuracy, 6 damage. Adds 50 ice damage to all attacks for 3 to 5 turns, adds 30 ice damage. Spirit potion, 650 coins. That was the red chest. Definitely worth it. And then this is the blue chest, which is some good stuff that we definitely want to stockpile. And if we come up here, I'm hoping that... Yeah, that's the end of it. Alright, now we have to go back and get the big chest down here. There was two red, two blue, and we fought an army of Crete to get it. So let's come down here. No black, uh, bloodstone to be found. Let's see what this tribe had. Healing potion, three parry, ten armor, adds 30 ice damage, 650 gold. So this was a red chest. Three parry, ten armor. Some nice potions. Um, Dark Bane Mantle, twelve holy damage, two armor, sixteen unholy resist. Wow, we're finding some stuff, guys. I don't know how much of this stuff we're going to use. We're going to have to check. Um, wow, Guard of the Orcan Slayer, another set, ten damage, eight fire damage. Incantations of Ice, 650 gold coins, potion, and this is it. Boom, bunch of potions, 8 to all resists. Very nice, stocking back up on our potions. And that will do it for the River's Edge. Absolutely epic, sprawling, crazy, whatever you want to call it. We came, we saw, and we conquered the Crete. We're going to be... Where'd we go that there was a trap? Where are we? Oh, right there, really? There's a trap there? Um, we have uh, cleared the river so ships can come up here now, which may benefit us. Uh, we're going to be the receivers of 3,000 gold for a bounty 
for this army of Crete. We nearly leveled up. Let's head back. Absolutely nuts, guys. It took us like a few hours of video time to do it. Okay, I didn't see what that said. Let's go ahead and check it out. The ninth sun holds the weights of justice and righteously defends order and stability. Many are the paladins who follow his call. Callus, I believe. Alright, um... The Creed Day chieftains are dead and the spur is secure. Well, I'm glad we did not wait on Vladin's hand then. They've clearly got their eyes somewhere else these days. And the payment? Ah, oh, yes, here is the promised 3,000 gold. Hope you spend it at our shop across the street. Boat to Broodhorn. I don't want to take a boat to Broodhorn. Um, did we level up? Yes, we have a level to do that I forgot to do. Alright, so do we have time this episode? I think we do. We just started. 16 minutes in. Alright, let's look at the talents for Kincaid. Um, his lunge is on point. Um, see, I would get probably get rid of Crippling Strikes. Uh, cutting Footwork 5 I would keep. Flashing Blades only lasts for 3 turns. Live by the Blade. Flanking Unity I've been investing in. Storm of Steel. Strikes multiple enemies. This would go to plus 5 accuracy, plus 12 damage, but for 20 spirit. Um, what about Flanking Unity? 5 accuracy, 4 damage. Um, I'll go to 6 to accuracy, 8 damage next level. Um... Let's go with his lunge. 7 accuracy plus 18 damage. Lunge 4. Empowered melee attack. Let me look. Self parry would add 1 parry, 1 dodge. Yeah, his defense actually should get a little bit better. This would go to 5 dodge, 10% critical, 3 accuracy. Um, then 4 parry, 6 dodge. Uh, last for 12 turns. Let's... See, he needs defense. Right now. Um, let's go with Cutting Footwork 6. More critical potential, more accuracy, more dodge. Um, wait, what would this go to? Plus 5 accuracy, plus 4 damage. Buffs for 8 leadership. We need a point of leadership, too. Um, let's invest in this so we can get to 6 accuracy, 8 damage. I think this will be the the one to invest in because we need that accuracy. Talent for Vince. Frigid Air would go to minus six, minus twenty. Um, Lightning Spear is excellent. We're getting away from Storm Strike now. Flash Freeze would go to minus four dodge. Not really necessary, but we could get it up to minus two action points. Charge speed, um, Thundering Blades would go to 13 lightning damage, Elemental Sundering, um, Energy Storm at 4 range. Uh, 
This will go to 33 to 54 plus 9 accuracy. I'm going to go ahead and get that. And it does something to the AOE, notice. It's like that, and then it's like that. It adds a bigger AOE. So Lightning Spear 5, Bong Bong, trained. Talent for Fiona, um... I really think Reckoning, uh... Plus six, four accuracy, 16 holy damage. F minus 14 damage, yes. No questions asked, just get Reckoning. And a talent for Selene. Um... Dance of Shadow 3 would give 2 move points, 4 stealth, 4% 4 critical. We still haven't gotten Quicksilver Defense. And this is only a critical from Surprise, which I don't like. Um, let's get Quicksilver Defense. 3 parry, 3 dodge, and get her in the world of good dodging. Now, Kincaid, um, we said he needed a point of leadership, um, or lore. His blades is fine. Let's get a point of leadership, so flanking unity lasts a bit longer. Skill for Vincent, um... Kind of getting away from blades. Uh, let's get another point of sorcery for spell attack accuracy. And finally, a skill with Selene. Lore for Dance of Shadows and Quicksilver Defense. No questions asked. Bong, bong. There we go. And we're about to level again to level 20. Alright, so from here, there is no armor shop or anything, but there are fights and stuff around the area, so let's just go ahead and get into them. There's exploration opportunities here, so... As you can see, there's just crazy exploration everywhere around this outpost, and most much of it is dangerous. Um, I don't know how far it goes before it takes us off screen. Maybe we can get a hold of some bloodstone. Come on. Nothing. Surprising that there hasn't been a fight yet. Uh, let's come down here. Maybe over this way there'll be one. Maybe down here. Nothing. Um, this dock. Nothing. Alright, and finally, let's come over here. I think we found a piece of bloodstone here. I'm not sure, did we? We're fighting. And it's... what tribe? I don't know. But let's go ahead and get buffed and going here. Um, get their action economy all janked up. Uh, bring you up here. Bring you right here. Let's go. Uh, 
let's get charged blades for you guys. Alright. Bong bong. It looks like the Gain tribe, which is the nastiest warriors of all, and they get the most momentum at the start of the battle. Doing the most damage. But, uh, we have to break their spirits. That's how it works. Um, we can do so. Oh, it's the Akik tribe. Get a heal going. Um, hmm. Can come here and poke. That doesn't. Okay, this Akik tribe is ready for a fight. Uh, 51 HP. Oh, bigger, bigger, uh, area of effect. Alright. Let's go. Um, their warriors are gonna come. We're gonna have to defend. But we have the advantage of the bushes and the rocks. They have to to get us and we have to jank up their economy action economy um, let's reckon them you come up and critical boom you can hit them and get a gangbusters attack and then mess up their action economy. Archer. You um, get a heal going. You, I guess, shoot that one. Line of sight blocked. Alright, poke at this one then. sit tight and let's go 18 xp 2 gold hmm. she should have a quicksilver defense up but I'm kind of not buffing all the different buffs because I think we can get by without although it's looking a little little creepy right now Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Boom. Let's do that. And that. You continue to poke at this guy to no avail. Or to little avail. There we go. Not bad. Can we kill? Line of sight blocked. Um, let's come here anyway. Bong bong. Only hit one there. Um, hit him again. Only hit one. Hit him again. Hit two. Wow. His electricity is on point. But he should have. Well, no. They. Yeah, he should have. Uh, I should have thrown a thing there because their their archers are slinging slinging double shots oh man we may actually lose here they're strong as heck dead um nice critical heal Kincaid, um, Archer, Berserker, Archer, Archer. So it's mostly Archers left. Um, let's do that. Nice. Boom. Alright, let's fry 
them up. Fried lizard is on the menu. Forget the action economy. Just wet them. Wet them. Oh, line of sight blocks. Come here. Ah, oh, don't you block. There we go. Yeah, we're rocking. We're rocking right now. 90 XP, 70 gold, but we didn't kill 8 in one turn. That's like a goal to get an achievement. What a crit. Boom. 18 XP, 2 gold. So now that should be the last Crete uh, tribe that we have to deal with for a while. Let's see. See what's over here. Oh my gosh, we're fighting again. We're fighting again. Savage Crete. Now granted, these are the easiest Crete out there. But I can't believe we're fighting again. There's still not a pushover. Which I'm treating them like right now. I'm just rushing in and... poke at them. I can't believe there's another tribe just nestled at the very tip of this peninsula and they're gonna surround us with I mean they're not easy I'm treating them like they're easy look at the damage they're doing Fiona, Fiona might die there was a legit chance that Fiona died just then we need to action economy them down um they didn't send out the lizards yet. Get them ready. Um, get that archer. He's a savage Crete. Uh, poke at this one. Minus 72. Death. Um, let's action combat or... Uh, Combat economy, you. Action economy, I should say. Let's poke at you. Boom, dead. Poke at you, hope for a crit. You have three AP left. If I... I should put you up there to kind of attract attention. Like, look at me. Uh, let's get sure parry. Alright, let's go. 36 XP, 21 gold. 106. They haven't sent the big lizards down yet. Here they come. And they're going to be swinging, but they're action economied. There we go. Bong, bong. And they're getting an easier position for us. Um... Much easier. Ah, don't you block. Alright. Sure, Perry. Um, poke at this one. Hmm. Step back one and just fire away on them. Nice. Still got to get that more accurate. All right, let's go. 18 XP. I think they should. We should be all right health-wise and stuff. I don't know. I didn't really notice. Oh no, you're not action economied. Because we thought we were gonna kill you. You have one HP and you're doing that kind of damage. Get out of here, son. Get out. Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out of here. Come on. Bah! Throw a heal on her. 
And to get to him, it's going to be too much. Uh, step up one and try to fry him. Fried lizard, 23 HP. Yeah, I think so. And you come here. Enough for a bonking. Boom. Clear the room. With bonks like that. 36 XP, 13 gold. Now finally we can say, oh no. Not say, oh no. Say we are done with the dang Crete day. Boom, double kill. 36 XP, 20 gold. Now, was there anything here, though? Nothing. Just Crete polluting the area. So anyway... That's like the episode, pretty much. There's nothing left to explore here. We killed all the Crete that were around. Maybe we can go to the guard's tower and tell them that we killed all the Crete. At least I think we killed all the Crete. And I think it was... Was it in here that we told them? No, close to leveling though. It was up here. And here maybe? Nope, up here maybe? Um, wait, we haven't gone over here. Okay. Wait, what did that say? A town's knight is the military captain who works under a reeve and faces the direct danger of combat and expeditions. So actually we want to leave the outpost. Riddles, lies, and chaos are all one can expect from the seventh son, Rabiel. Many are the tales that warn not to trust a word from his lips. Um, there appears to be no... Uh, yeah, we did get, like, Bloodstone, I think. There appears to be no reward offered. Um, there's potions. We got 3,000 gold. Uh, that's the shipping area. We could save and... Can we take a boat to Brunhorn? We'd rather not take the trip through the Dark Moss. Not at this time. Shipping is still locked up. But the Crete chieftains have been slain. Aye, they have been, but ships aren't easy to come by, you see. They're too valuable to risk without better intelligence. And the word is that Brunhorn has their own trouble with their side of the shipping. Until we hear otherwise, shipping is still suspended. Okay, good. I just wanted to know. Um, nothing here. There's no shop, so I may head... Well, do I head back or do I push forward? We could head back to Rivenfield just to, um, pick up some better weaponry and armor, perhaps. But we don't have any bloodstone, so really, what's the point? We have money, but no bloodstone. So, what we're going to do, guys, um, this is going to be it for this episode. If we head north, we'll head into the Breas family lands. To the west is Rivenfield. To the east, we enter the Dark Moss. We're probably going to enter the Dark Moss Forest and head to Brunehorn. Um, if we look at the world map, we can head to Brunehorn, um, and we can come up. Whoa, whoa, that's our quest. We can head to Brunehorn, and we can. I don't know why it automatically takes me to the journal. I'm not pressing anything. We can head to Brunehorn, Craig Peak. We can even hit Freeport, Granthorn, Bray, Shalm. So, lots to do up there. We'll head down this way. Maybe stop at this town, Asalia or whatever. Telia. So, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this progressive episode. Next time, we head through the Dark Moss Forest and see what that entails. So, appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're enjoying the LP. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care. See you next time with Mo. Bye-bye.